Welcome to Chinese Finance and Economy Briefing. The content of the briefing includes Box Yuan support through fixing causes headache for companies. Hong Kongers staying home for Christmas holiday beat the chill with snake soup. Hong Kong's traditional brands should innovate to stay ahead of the game, Paul Chan. Box Yuan support through fixing causes headache for companies. Bloomberg. Chinese companies have been using the People's Bank of China's artificially strong reference exchange rate for their foreign exchange accounting, resulting in paper losses. The PBOC has set the fixing consistently stronger than the spot level since June, causing dollar assets to appear lower in value in yuan terms on corporate balance sheets. This has prompted some companies to consider using the yuan spot rate for accounting purposes, moving away from the reference rate. However, the use of the reference rate is unlikely to impact the way the PBOC manages the currency. Hong Kongers staying home for Christmas holiday beat the chill with snake soup. South China Morning Post. Hong Kongers lined up for warm bowls of snake soup in Sham Shui Pe and hunted for bargains at a products expo in Victoria Park on Christmas Eve, despite the chilly weather. Immigration figures showed there was a net outflow of 517,606 trips on Friday and Saturday as people traveled across the border and overseas for the festive break. The cold spell in Hong Kong entered its sixth day on Sunday, with temperatures falling to 2.9 degrees Celsius in some areas of the new territories. Hong Kong's traditional brands should innovate to stay ahead of the game, Paul Chan, South China Morning Post. Hong Kong's traditional brands need to innovate to increase competitiveness and generate more business opportunities both domestically and overseas, according to Financial Secretary Paul Chan Amopa. Writing in his blog, he called for continuous innovation and creativity to maintain Hong Kong's leading position in the market and attract locals and tourists. Retailers and restaurateurs in Hong Kong have struggled recently as mainland Chinese tourists choose experiences over shopping and locals go elsewhere for cheaper goods and services. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Dr. Six, your trusted observer from the Six Degree World, here to bring you the latest news and analysis. Let's dive into today's headlines. First up, we have the People's Bank of China, PBOC, causing a headache for companies with its support of the yuan. Chinese companies have been using the PBOC's artificially strong reference exchange rate, resulting in paper losses due to lower dollar asset values in yuan terms. Some companies are considering using the yuan spot rate instead but it's unlikely to impact how the PBOC manages the currency. So, companies better buckle up and find a way to navigate this tricky situation. Next, we have a heartwarming and slightly peculiar story from Hong Kong. Despite the chilly weather, Hong Kongers lined up for warm bowls of snake soup and hunted for bargains at a products expo on Christmas Eve. It seems like nothing can stop the people of Hong Kong from enjoying their traditions, even if it means braving the cold. Finally, we have Financial Secretary Paul Chan Amopa urging Hong Kong's traditional brands to innovate and stay ahead of the game. With mainland Chinese tourists choosing experiences over shopping and locals seeking cheaper goods and services elsewhere, Hong Kong's retailers and restaurateurs have been facing challenges. Chan believes that continuous innovation and creativity are key to maintaining Hong Kong's leading position in the market and attracting both locals and tourists. Now, let's analyze these stories. The PBOC's support of the yuan through fixing the exchange rate has been causing some confusion and losses for companies. While it may be tempting for companies to switch to the spot rate for accounting purposes, it is unlikely to have any significant impact on the PBOC's management of the currency. So, companies will need to find other ways to mitigate their losses and adapt to the situation. As for Hong Kong, it's heartwarming to see people braving the cold weather to enjoy their traditional snake soup and take part in a products expo. Despite the net outflow of trips during the Christmas holiday, the spirit of celebration remains strong. However, Hong Kong's traditional brands are facing challenges in the market. To stay ahead, they need to embrace innovation and find new ways to attract customers. It's a tough task, but with creativity and adaptation, they can maintain their position and thrive. So, my dear viewers, what are your thoughts on these stories? Do you have any ideas on how companies can navigate the box exchange rate challenges? And how can Hong Kong's traditional brands innovate to stay ahead in the market? Join the discussion and share your thoughts. Remember, in the Six Degree World, your opinions matter. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the Six Do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6 Do Brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making.
Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6Do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6Do Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6dobrief.com. Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6Do Brief via email.